Hi, everyone. Before we start lesson 23, I'd like to explain why we care about normal distributions, just in general. Well, first of all, we often see them in real life. And this is sometimes referred to as the soft central limit theorem, the idea that if you have a variable like weight or height, where there are many different sources or inputs, then they combine to form a random variable that has about a normal distribution. Uh, that's a general idea of a soft central limit theorem. It's not too precise, but it's the idea that if you have a variable that's affected by many different inputs, then it's often randomly distributed. Second, more precisely, sums and averages, as we've seen, are often normally distributed. Like if you have a machine roll 32 dice and you look at the distribution of the average of those dice. Uh, in an application, you could talk about uh, 32 weights of American adults if you're designing elevators. Uh, a third application, which we're going to do now, normal distributions can be used to approximate binomial distributions, our old friends. And let's see how. In lesson 23, normal approximations to binomial distributions. How can normal distributions help us analyze binomial distributions so we can do things like approximate probabilities. Okay, so first of all, when can a normal distribution approximate a binomial? We're going to look at a gallery of 50 binomial histograms and observe which of the histograms looks closest to normal. So here's the first part of the gallery, all right? For example, let's review binomial experiments. A classic binomial experiment is, is if you flip a coin, let's say a fair coin, where the probability of heads, P, is one half. You flip a fair coin n times. Well, if you flip a fair coin once, there's a one half probability of getting a head, so there's one head, and a one half probability of getting a tail, so there are no heads. Now, if the probability of getting a head is say seven eighths, well, then there's a skew. The probability of getting one head is seven eighths. The probability of getting a tail is one eighth. The one eighth is the value of Q. Remember that Q is given by one minus P. It's the complementary probability, the probability of a tail. Now, if you flip two coins, or if you flip the same coin twice, well, if it's a fair coin, the probability of one head is one half. The probability of no heads is one quarter. The probability of two heads is one quarter. So we have these binomial histograms that can be used to graph binomial distributions. N is like the number of times you flip the coin. And P is the probability of the coin coming up heads. If P is one half, you have a fair coin. Otherwise, you have a biased coin. Here, the coin is biased towards heads. Over here, the coin is biased against heads and towards tails. As you see, uh, we're more likely to get tails than heads. So if we take this up to n equals 10, which of these 50 binomial histograms looks most normal? Take another view here. Which of these 50 histograms looks most normal? looks most bell-shaped. If you guess this one, ding, 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 speaking of bells, you'd be correct. And what is this distribution? This is the binomial histogram, the binomial distribution, where n equals 10. So you flip a coin 10 times, and it's a fair coin. P equals 1 half. P equals 1 half, n equals 10. This, in fact, is the only one of the 50 histograms or distributions that can be approximated by a normal, as it turns out. This is the only one of the 50 that will be fair game. Because these other ones are too skewed, like the ones over here and over here. And even for the p equals 1 half column, it's a bit too chunky beforehand. It's not so bell-shaped. It's too chunky. So this histogram or distribution is the closest one to bell-shaped, normal-shaped, and in fact, it's the only one of these 40 
that will be permissible to be approximated by a normal distribution. Now, before we go on to the specific assumptions, uh, let's remind ourselves what this distribution looks like. What is the distribution table for this histogram? Uh, 